Hello, I'm Theodor Tanev. In this video, we are going to talk about SAP portal tools that can be used for easy connection between a portal and a PI system. Let me show you how. Doing that is a prerequisite to be able to show your reports in the portal. So, the first step is to create a successful connection between systems. This can be done manually following a step-by-step -step tutorial from SAP. You can see it here in the Help Sub Portal. Under the manual configuration, you can see links to all the items that should be done for a successful configuration. You can search for that in the Help Sub Portal as Automatically Configuring BI Java. The best thing about this configuration is that SAP also provides a fully automatic wizard which requires only most important input settings. Every other step is done by the wizard and it's done automatically. You can find it under your portal host, portal port and typing at the end SLD fun. To be able to open that, you need administrator rights. <clears throat> when you go there, you will find SAP NetWeaver functional units list. The most important one for us in this tutorial will be BI Java. If you do that for the first time on your system, some other functional units may be required to be executed. As you can see here, some of them are already installed, so there is no need to do them again. The wizard itself is started when you click the BI Java item and click on the Enable Automatically button. You will have to enter administrator password for your user. Master password is also required, which will be used during the wizard creation of system users. I'm typing in my administrator password here and the master, master password for the wizard. The wizard is starting and we are at the first and the main screen of it. There are some prerequisites that should be done on the BI system. On most of the systems they are already done, but you should double check that all items are enabled on your BI system to have the wizard running successfully. You can see all the prerequisites are written here, so you can check them very fast. About the connection to the BI system, you will have to enter your data to your destination system here. I will type some example data for our landscape. Also, important thing here is this details tray that is shown below. When you open it, you can see a brief status of the configuration. You can see here which are the steps that are already passed and what's coming next. If 
at the end there are some items that are finished unsuccessfully this means that you may need to redo the configuration again I'm going next and meanwhile while the wizard is running I'm going to show you the next tool which you can find under the, this URL where you can put your host and port and after that that specific string the wizard is finished but still some problems may appear afterwards and this is the special tool where you can check if the configuration is done successfully when you open that link you will see the SAP NetWeaver Business Intelligence Diagnostics and Support Desktop Tool to be able to open that you will need administrator rights again in the config configuration check section are listed all items that need to be checked as you can see here they are red green and undefined statuses every item has a solution proposal below or corresponding notes that can help on the solution for example if bi view permissions is failing the proposal is to find several portal objects and assign end user permissions to them you can see here this portal object is missing end user permissions and this is information provided by the wizard so we are going to find that one we are going to system administration tool and when we open the permission section we search as supposed the group everyone and adding end user permissions for it just going to save and when we are done with some change we can go to the reload configuration button this means that all the configuration items will be checked again so if there is some change it will appear here and as you can see the item that we changed is no longer in the list and we will have to fight against the next item in it for example if we check this one net we were bi portal security zone permission we see that we need and user permission also to the low safety for the NetWeaver BI. We can go again to the system administrator, find the low safety of the NetWeaver BI, open the permissions, search again for everyone group. We will add it with end user permissions here. Going to save that configuration. And going back to the configuration wizard settings uh, reloading the configuration and you can see that now this item disappear from the red section 
and it is green now. This means that that this item is set up correctly and we can continue with some of the next items. The next items could be solved in a similar way, only checking the solution proposal or following the node provided from SAP to solve that problem. And at the end, you will find your configuration done successfully. There may be some red statuses here, but if the configurations are not needed for your case, this also could be fine. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful for you.